Quick review. We got Brianna Pillman, Ariana Rasuli. We have Victoria Olyanek, which is this this one? No, this one. This one? Uh, can we see another picture of her with less makeup? Okay. Yeah, that's that's her. So then, so then that would make so that would make you Marcel Hater. So all of these women that I named have been confirmed. The girl in the pink is not one of their friends. People were asking me if the girl in the pink was another one of their friends. No, she is not. She was friends with the person filming and she was actually telling them to stop and was standing up for the vendor. So no, she she is not a part of that group. Neither is Ella. This group is, is verified, this is them. And let me tell you how I verified Marcel Hader. The person who originally posted the video started to get threats of legal action from this phone number here that I'm not going to show. But when you look up the phone number, it says that it belongs to a Marcel hater. Now, why would a Marcel hater say that I'm going to sue you and that I don't give you permission to post those things on this date and time when she wasn't even publicly named yet? And when they threaten you with legal action in a TikTok video that you haven't even named them in yet, you know what that means. Found her, found her. <laughs> Got no. her. So if you've seen that video going around on TikTok about like those girls being rude to that Mexican vendor, oddly enough, I went to high school with one of those girls. And I actually made a YouTube video on this whole thing, if y'all want to hear it, you know what I'm saying? But, basically, she called me the N-word hard R five times at a party. This one right here. So, safe to say, I'm glad she's getting, uh, canceled once again. Fuck you. I have an update on the Mean Girls. The Chrome Lady in Lavish Tattoo is nice enough to host a buyout for the street vendor who was harassed by those four college students. And uh, SDSU responded and said, since we now discovered that none of the girls go to our school, we don't give a shit about the vendor or any of this at all anymore. Don't bother us with this. We don't care. <laughs> wow. Well, unlike SDSU, we do care. So. I would like for you all to come to this buyout on Sunday and let's help out the street vendor. I think it'll be a great time. My friend Eden and Amarando, he'll be there. You could see him and everyone could come support the street vendor, come for a good cause and have fun and maybe get a tattoo. Get the Donish guy profile picture right on your chest. No, don't do that. I'm joking. Get it on your lower back. <laughs> um, no, I'm don't, don't do that, but you can get tattoos while you're there too. Also, Another update. I spoke with Marcel Hader. Here's the funny thing. I reached out to Marcel Hader yesterday before I made my video. Then I forgot that I did that because she responded and I didn't see those messages until today. So I was looking at him today and here's the message I sent her. I told her, Hey, Marcel, do you want to, I don't know, come onto my platform and apologize or, you know, speak to what had happened? See, I gave her a chance to do that. I just forgot I gave her that chance, but I, you know, I did. I give that chance to a lot of people. But it's not like she was taking it anyway. She said, eh, I'd like to 
like to send him a private text. And uh, if he decides to give it to you to post it, I guess you can't stop him. No, Marcel, that's not... <laughs> that's not what we mean. Look, look, look. Now we're doing a buyout on Sunday. Why don't you come? Bring your friends. All of you should come to this buyout. And don't drink or have fun. Uh, work. Help out the street vendor because there's going to be a lot of people showing up. Direct traffic, sell some hot dogs. I think that would be good restorative justice. And I think that it'll give you some insight on what it's like to work when everybody else is drinking and having fun. All right? Hey, I'm not saying that this will magically fix everything. I, I can't I can't speak to that. I'm not the victim in the scenario. Where all I'm saying is it's a good idea. But ultimately, it's up to you. Just don't come back and say, oh, you ruined my lives, you ruined my lives. No, it's a series of your decisions. So make a good decision. Show up on Sunday. Because rather than sending a private text that'll give you the opportunity to apologize to his face and show that you're sorry, I work in the event. 